Hello once again everyone. This is going to be my room tour for 2014. The last room tour I posted was in January of 2013, so I should have already done this, but I forgot. So <laughs> this is my room tour for 2014. Woohoo! And I'm going to start off with saying my usual disclaimer. Um, everything I own has been bought and purchased by myself with my own money or was given to me as a present. I'm not trying to show off in any way. This is something that people have requested a lot, so I'm making another room tour video. Um, and as a courtesy, a courtesy to me, please do not ask if I'm rich or anything like that because it's kind of rude, so just gonna say that. But anyway, enough with the disclaimer. Um, I guess we'll get on with the room tour. I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible, and I'm going to start on this side and work my way around the room. I'm not going to talk about my desk or the stuff behind the door because that is for my workspace video which I will be posting in mid-October. So next month. So alrighty, let's start the room tour. Okay, so I'm going to go over here first and I'll make sure I'm showing all the artwork and prints on my walls because I always ask, get asked about that. And I also forgot to mention that if there's anything you see and want to know where I got it from, as usual, ask me a comment or leave me a comment and ask me what it is, and I will tell you. And then I will put the response to your question in the video description, so other people can go and look in the video description to find out where I purchased something. Woohoo! Okay, so this is my doorway. This is the horrible hallway between my bedroom and. Brittany's room, which is right here, and this is our bathroom, and this is the hallway of death and destruction. Yeah, these planets and things were put up for my birthday a couple years ago, and we just didn't take them down, because <laughs> they're kind of funny. And there's TARDIS string lights up here, because this is the Doctor Who hallway, and there's Avengers posters and stuff. So yeah, yeah. Um, Alright, so <laughs> anyway, so this is a print that I got at Off the Page in Disneyland when I was there in... April, I believe. Woo! Closing my door, which is squeaky. Back of the door, I have purses. Um, this is my big bag that I take clothes to school when I take my Cintiq with me to school. I got it from store or Society6. More bags. Um, this is my painting backpack that I take when I go painting. Just more bags, an umbrella. Down here are a couple prints that are in frames that I do not have room to hang up right now, so as soon as I move stuff around again, I'm sure they will go back up on the wall, so. Woo! Did I show my closet last year? I don't remember, but here's my closet. It's really awful. <laughs> um, messy, messy closet. I never organized my closet. These are my school bags because I have a problem. Uh, yeah, I need to organize these so badly, but... Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, clothes, 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 clothes. Mostly summer clothes. Um, winter clothes are <laughs> in the darkness over there. They're going to be switched as soon as it's not hot anymore. Um, these two boxes have my um, Disney Store Anna and Elsa limited edition dolls. These are the second set of dolls that they released. I have the first set on display over in my by my bed. So you will see those. So out of the closet. I'm not going to open the other side of the closet because it's more of the same. Except there is a pink trunk that has all my Harry Potter books in it. Because I have a Harry Potter book collection. But I don't want to pull that out of my closet. It's really heavy. So <laughs> yeah. Alright, so away from the closet we go. This is my chest of drawers. Same as I had last year. I'm not going to show you what's inside of them because my clothes are really boring. I'm not going not gonna to lie. These boxes are boxes that a couple of my Baldur into Dolls came in because I just got like four in the mail because I bought them a million years ago and they just got here. But those boxes need to go down to our storage room, which is down on the first floor. But all right, um, here is another print that I got from Disneyland, like uh, probably about a year ago. Um, my humidifier, some of my animator dolls, hairbrush. One of the two calendars that I have in my room right now. Lipsticks in this little Snow White box. Shockingly, are more lipsticks because I have a problem. <laughs> um, Alpacaso. 
in this little black box is my winter scarf from Slow Factory, which has the Tarantula Nebula on it. It's so pretty. I wish I could unfold it and show you guys, but it's really big, so I don't want to take it out of the box, and it's really hard to get back in the box once you take it out. Alright, so away from the chest of drawers, we're going around the desk. That's my current purse that I'm using, and my hand weights, and the desk, which is kind of messy, and I need to clean it. Um, I'm going to show you guys the prints that I have hanging around my desk. Do, 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 do. So th this one's kind of hard to see because the light reflects in it, so I'm kind of trying to put it at an angle, but um, yeah, this is one of my, my print from the Crudes, which is just absolutely beautiful, that I bought from DreamWorks print shop back when they had one. They don't have one anymore, or they have one that's somewhere else, but it's not just for them anymore. One of my How to Train Your Dragon prints. Another one of my How to Train Your Dragon prints. And another one. All of these came from Nucleus Gallery. There'll be a link in the description because I know I will be asked about that. Um, okay. So, this one's really reflective too, but this is one of my Harry Potter prints. Which I finally got a Harry Potter print. I'd always wanted one. And this one's just awesome. So, more prints. My Brittany Lee print, which I had last year. And then another one of my Disney prints. These are super reflective. I'm really sorry if you can't see them very well. But, yeah. So that's all the prints that are on this side of the room. Um, this is my box fan, which is uninteresting. I can't wait to get all this stuff out of my room when fall is finally here. Um, okay. So, garbage can, desk stuff, um... Creepy dolls and stuffies. That's the subwoofer for my sound bar that goes with my TV. Um, this is my TV. Woo! And that's my Sony sound bar. This right here is my old PS2, which I don't have plugged into my TV anymore because I haven't used it in a long time, but I'm not going to get rid of it or anything because it's, it's a classic, man. Um, <laughs> Alright, so cable box, PS3. Blu-ray player, Wii, Apple TV, controller for Apple TV, keyboard for Apple TV, some CDs, box for my iPod, and that's my camcorder that I haven't used in like five years, but I can't get rid of it because it has videos and stuff that I want to keep on it, so I need to transfer those onto my computer somehow. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna crawl over here and get into this little dark area. This basket has all of my like controllers and stuff that go with my various gaming things. That's my broken ot light that I hook my camera to while I'm filming. In the darkness back here is so messy. Oh my god, I should have organized it before I filmed this. Yeah, Guitar Hero controller even though I don't play Guitar Hero that often anymore. This is the um stand base thing for my Cintiq, but I have another, I have an arm that it's hooked to now that I got for Christmas last year. Um, my easel usually is here, but it has a painting drawing on it downstairs, so it's not here, it's usually in the corner, which is probably why this is so unorganized. <laughs> but yeah, th this Celestron box has um, filters and lenses in it for my telescope, which I know somebody's been asking about. My telescope is downstairs, so it's not kept in the room here because I'd bump it and break it or something, you know. Alright, so onto the movie shelf. It's the same movie shelf I had last year. It has billions of movies on it. And games. These are my games. I'm not much of a gamer, but, you know. <laughs> and this some um, anime and games down here. Some DVDs. This shelf. I need to move this stuff so I can put movies on it. <laughs> but this is my big camera. My 3DS lens for my camera and stuff that goes with my telescope is there. DVDs, Move Rapunzel, Blu-rays, did I say these were DVDs? These are not, they're Blu-rays. <laughs> Blu-rays, all my, most of my animated Blu-rays are here and then there's more animated DVDs and stuff here and there's that picture of me and Brittany and Mary and Bert when we were at Disneyland, woo! 
And then that's my Rapunzel limited edition doll from the Disney store. And my time turner and my, this is the, that sonic screwdriver remote, like TV remote, but I need to program it, but I am lazy and haven't done it yet, but that's up there. So I'm going to use that eventually. <laughs> Move this back and jewelry box of doom. It's just as bad as it was last year, I guarantee. This is my jewelry box. This jewelry box was bought for me by my mom from QVC because I know someone's gonna ask because I got asked a lot about it last year. So that's the jewelry box. Oh yeah. I'm not even gonna bother trying and locking that again. This is my window. I have it closed because it makes it super bright in here and my camera doesn't really like it, so that's why the window is closed. Here's my bed with all my stuffies on it because I'm a grown-up and I don't care. Um, yeah, this is my school bag. I'm going to show you what's inside my school bag because I kept getting asked when I showed it last year. This thing has all my animation work that I did for a short film project because next week is finals week. So that's some of my scenes that I've finished for that. Here's my bag. I love this bag so much. Um, up in the front, this is where my phone would go, my car keys. This is where my camera would go, and this is my taser, because I'm really into personal safety, so I carry a taser with me. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, there's a car going by. It's kind of loud. Okay, this is the inside of my bag, so I got a water bottle, wallet, bag of like makeup and stuff, my planner, my pencil pouch, sketchbook, and my lumography camera, lotion, and my portable hard drive is in there too, somewhere, but yeah, that's my school bag. Better shot of my bed with all my stuffies. Look how cute this Sailor Moon is. She's so cute. Uh, puppy cat. Another print. This is by Joey Cho. I got this at the Wonderground Gallery at Disneyland. Another print that I got from Brittany for my birthday. How to Turn Your Dragon 2 print that came from Comic Con 2013. Alright, so we're in the territory that if you're scared of dolls or don't like dolls, look away because I have a lot of dolls on this shelf. So these three are my Disney anim two or three of my Disney animator dolls. The rest are around the room, and I've already shown them to you. These are my pull-ups. I kind of got into these last year, and then bought like 50 million of them, and I don't know why, but they're really really cute, and I like them a lot. But I need to figure out a better way to like display them besides the shelf that's like right over my head when I'm sleeping. So <laughs> yeah, those are pull-ups. My BJDs are on the bookshelf, and I'm gonna get that to that in a minute. My clock. My Rise of the Guardians print that is signed by all the directors and stuff that worked on the film. More stuffed animals. There's my bedside table. My TARDIS lamp, which is so cool. Um, my cell phone, which is lit up for some reason. Go away. Um, cup, water cup, clock. My Anastasia music box, which I showed last year and everyone asked me where I got it from. Um, but yeah, it's so lovely. Um, here are my Kuma Crafts Sailor Moon necklaces that were in my jewelry box last year, but they're just so beautiful, and I hate to hide them in the jewelry box. So I have so many of these because I try and collect them every time she releases new ones. But yeah, so that's those. Got down to the table itself. Books. Books forever. Ooh, focus. Uh, sorry. Um, back there are some of my Doctor Who books because I'm a nerd, and Sherlock Holmes, which is one of my favorite series of all time. I love it. Books I'm currently reading: um, The Whispering Skull, which just came out by Jonathan Stroud. I'm rereading Order of the Phoenix, and I'm rereading Percy Jackson's Great Gods because it's a hoot. So, all right, down the next shelf. Um, in the back, if it'll focus, there it goes. Doctor Who magazine. This in the green case is my MacBook Pro, which usually just goes to school with me and on vacation with me. Um, my Q&A of the day book, which I fill out every day. 
This is my 365 day diary, which I fill out every day, and my dream journal. Lotion, which is peach lotion from the body shop. Oh, this stuff smells so good. Uh. <laughs> my iPod. Eh. Whatever. Get in there. And my slippers, and these are the charging cables. Like, this one's for my iPod, and the one that's hooked up is to my phone. And in the drawer is a mess. These are my reading copies of Heroes of Olympus, the ones that I buy to read, because I have a set right here, but these ones are all signed, so I don't want to read them because they're special. So, um, my Kindle Fire, this just has, like, my power cords for my Mac and, like, medicine and prescriptions and stuff. Bookmarks and notebooks are here. Another lotion in case I run out. This is my iPod Classic, which is usually just used like when I go on vacation so I can plug it into my car. Um, a, <laughs> another peach lotion. These are like sleeping things to help me sleep because sometimes I can't sleep. My mouse, and this has like fingernail clippers and stuff in it. Kind of uninteresting, but that's okay. All right, so almost done. I've powered through this, trying to get it done quick. Uh, so these are the bookshelves, which are probably going to take a long time to go through. I'm not going to say all the books I have, because I have a lot of books. But I will show all the shelves and all the stuff on all the shelves. But I'm going to start out with showing the prints that are above them. So... Ooh, Percy Jackson! Oh yeah! I love these prints, they're so beautiful. Alright, so now that I've shown the prints, I'm going to show the stuff that's on the top level. Here's a creepy doll, if you're afraid of dolls, I'm sorry. Um, I just got her like two days ago. That's one of the boxes that needs to be taken down. But she doesn't have eyes in her, so she's really scary. But I have to paint her still. So I'm going to move her out of the way. Move, darling. Okay. So this is my Sensi, which I broke the top of and tried to fix it very crudely. You can see the huge crack in it. But I, I got it as a present from my friend Stacy, and then I broke it, and I was so sad. Um, there is a cop driving around out side with his sirens on. If you can hear it, I'm really sorry. Um, iPod dock. This is my bank, which has a lot of change in it because I haven't taken it to the bank in like a year, so it has a lot of change in it. Laundry basket. Uninteresting. My hot toys, which I had some last year, but now I have the whole collection with the exception of the Hulk because he's huge and I don't have anywhere to put him. So I'm going to run through these as the cop drives by. Oh, he stopped. Oh, good. Woo! Hot toys! It's my wicked snow globe that my friend Stacy got me for Christmas a couple years ago. Here's Miss Margo again. Some of my dolls still don't have names, so, you know, sitting on a Fairyland box because these boxes are so pretty. Um, I guess I'll go over here because there's less stuff to move around over here gonna go through the books. There are books behind these books and what's behind these books is FMA manga. I have two manga series still. I have FMA and I have Sailor Moon. <laughs> so down my Marvel comics because I'm really into Marvel. Just books and these are a lot of drawing and art reference books. Do, do, do. Trying to make sure that all the titles of these books are shown. And this is my astronomy book, which has my um, star chart and flashlight hook to it. But it doesn't have a place to go because this bookshelf is really full. So um, These two boxes, these are my Sherlock and John six scale figures that I just got in the mail. But I have a curio cabinet that's like a big glass cabinet that I'm in, I have to build and put in here somewhere that my hot toys and these and all my other figures are going to go into so they get out of the 
like the elements so they're in some place where they won't get dusty and stuff. And this is Sailor Moon. Pulip Sailor Moon that I got and I have no place for her, but she's Sailor Moon so I had to get her. But I'm sure I'll find the place for her, but I haven't had her for that long. So moving these out of the way. More books. And look at me having two of the same candle. I don't know how I ended up with two of these because I didn't buy either of these, but they're almost burnt out. It's my favorite candle. It's like sweet orange or something like that. It's really yeah, yummy. Books. My Doctor Who book collection is horrific. And behind these are more. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm a huge nerd. Ignore me. Okay. So this is probably the most interesting of the bookshelves. So this is my art book collection, which has grown quite a lot since I showed it last year. I would really like to do a video about these art books, but I can't show anything that's on the inside of them because technically it's copyright infringement and I don't even want to risk that. So if you want me to do a video where I show the art books that I have, I can probably do that, but I can't show any of the interiors of the art books. Just saying that. So go through these. Some of these aren't art books. Some of these are comics. Feet. <laughs> okay. Ooh, and then there's some comics up there and some more books up here. All right, so the next shelf, dolls. Percy Jackson is the best. Dolls. She was painted by me. She's scary because she's not painted. She was painted by me, and she is so cute. Ugh. She has no wig, but she's still cute. So I'm going to move these ladies so that I can show you the books. Get down there. Do, 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 do. Don't fall. Okay. Let's move you. You need eyes and wigs so badly. There we go. Books by Diana Wynne Jones, who is one of my favorite authors of all time. She wrote Howl's Moving Castle. If you haven't read the book, it's way, way, way better, in my opinion, than the Miyazaki film. So go read the book if you're a reader. It's quite a good book, so... This is my one of my favorite book series of all time, which is the Airborne series by Kenneth Opel. If you're looking for something good to read and you're kind of like steampunky type stuff, read these this series. It's quite great. I actually have another set of these that these just came out because they're the 10th anniversary edition. So, and these are my Harry Potter books, the only ones that I have on the shelf right now. Um, if you'd like to see my Harry Potter Potter book collection, I can make a video on that because I have over a hundred copies of Harry Potter from like around the world, which is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pick her back up because she's like just laying on the floor. Here we go. Okay, I guess that is, I think I got everything, except for the desk and that stuff, but that's for next time. Um, but yeah, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you have any questions or anything about where I got something or what something is, feel free to ask. Please ask, actually, and then I will I will try in my best to answer you, unless I don't know where something came from, and then I will put it in the video description so that everybody else can find what it is in case they're looking for it. So, all right, I will see you again next month for the room tour, but I will be posting other videos. Besides that, um, my page four of the comic might be a bit late because I'm going to, on vacation next week. Going to Disneyland with my mummy, yay, because it's the end of the term, woohoo, but um, I'm going to try and get that uploaded on time. But anyway, um, yeah, please leave me a comment, and thank you guys for watching.